I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. C'est triste, hein? <laughs> Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. On peut se promener là Ouais bon ça sert à rien. On va aller ouvrir. Mm, lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Oh, really, he's not going to like that at all. Or you. Let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. Eh, vas-y, on regarde. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Bonjour. Tiffany built that rocket herself. Lucius was so proud. All right, that's a start. Bonjour. <laughs> Toi, je t'aime bien. When Tiffany brought that back from art class. Getting there. Yeah, vas-y, on progresse, on progresse. Bonjour. Alors, non, il y a plus rien ici. Scan, clavier. Mm. Ah, ça, s'il l'a pas touché, c'est bizarre. Hein? Hmm. One more partial print should do it. Okay, still unconscious. Hope he's not hurt too badly. <laughs> ça, ça, ça doit être dur hein, de pas pouvoir l'aider. Generator MP, panneau de l'imprimante. Nope, not encouraging. Bonjour, alors bah, le générateur de MP, hein. <coughs> à moins qu'il l'ait fait avec ses pieds. There we go. Ok, this will work. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Ah, tu, on sent bien la bonne humeur, hein?
J'adore comment elle nous regarde de façon louche alors que pour le moment on va dans son sens. Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Quelqu'un m'observe. La caméra bougeait. Looking for this. Je m'en doutais que toi tu serais là. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it. His tech. Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but I didn't expect this. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce, what's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, you need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your uh, friend here. You don't have to say anything to her, John, okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. <laughs> All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You're gonna have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey now, no need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? I don't like it any more than you do, Tiffany. But this is the only way to walk away safely. Trust me, it's the right thing to do. It's a little too late for that. Oh, well. Ah! Ah! Tiffany! Well, how about that? Looks like Brucey boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kind of like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? Or am I gonna have to find out the hard way? We grew up together. You could say she's family. You no family of mine. Oof, Bruce. Your friend seems a little hot under the collar. <coughs> she certainly has your fire, Bruce. Or should I say your you people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab! I whacked a bunch of people in my time, Sugar. But I don't think your old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the name. I can't believe you'd associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a Bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> Ain't that right, Brucey? Came to us for help with a mutual enemy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm with you. Birds of a feather and all that. Oh, Bruce, I'm tearing up. You can be a real heartbreaker when you turn on the charm. Go. 
Bruce will keep her quiet, one way or another, now that he's part of the family. Ah, uh, Harley, look what I found. It was just sitting up in that vault. Oh, that's great, Pud. You get a cookie, too. C'est génial, putain. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. Si, en temps normal, le Joker s'en fout un peu plus de que ça de Harley hein, dans les comics. Too, bon. I need it. On a eu pire, on a eu Suicide Squad, c'était encore pire. Donc euh... Hurry it up. Ah là, j'étais obligé, sinon je grillais tout ce que j'ai fait jusqu'à maintenant, euh, ma couverture. Hein. Ça va, Alfred, tu trembles Bruce Are you all right <coughs> Une journée difficile. Je suis Alfred. Je vous keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was. unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I don't blame you for saying you were one of them. It made sense to placate them, even if it meant breaking Tiffany's heart. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. C'est ce que je voulais faire déjà, je l'avais promis à Lucius. Mais me laisse jamais le temps de faire l'autre. Got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your fashion consultant's cover story is going to cause more problems. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yes, I suppose I will. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Ouais! Oh, ça faisait longtemps, ça! Well, be careful and good luck. C'est Gordon qui m'appelle? Et c'est là, et là, non, c'est l'autre. <rire> c'est Waller. Il est CPD. Non, c'est bon, c'est Gordon, ça va. Ils l'ont pas non plus piqué le bas de signal. <rire> Been a busy night. Good to see you on your feet again. <laughs> Here, you're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Merci. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A uh, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save her. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but... I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. <laughs> Just... Bonjour! Hey! Gordon, you're dismissed. 
This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. That's enough, Waller. This is Jim's precinct. He's free to do as he pleases. Maybe you weren't paying attention, but this is my turf now. You're gonna push me too far, you hear me? Is that a threat? No, just God's honest truth. Something you wouldn't know a <laughs> damn thing about. Bravo, Gordon! Ah putain, clash! Et là, il lâche le micro. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. God. Oh, Gordon. Mais je l'aime trop, Gordon. Come to Gotham, put the change on Bobby and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job, or you don't. You're absolutely right. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood, wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Does she know who I really am? Who do you think told me who you are? <laughs> for the world's greatest detective, you sure can be slow. So... Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. Hey, je suis meilleur détective du monde. Tu me causes autre, hein? C'est moi, Sherlock Holmes. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang before everything blew up. I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. A vote of confidence. I'm touched, Waller. Credit where credit's due. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. Count me in. That's it? No extra demands? I'll contact your people when I need them to strike. Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with them at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. J'hésitais à demander l'aide de Gordon, mais de toute façon. Al, I'm in. Just. Don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Allez, vas-y. 
Bonjour. Right. Enfin, incognito. Here we go. Wow. C'est sympa. <rire> Le vieux 5 points. Ouais. Hey now. Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like the Prince of Gotham is more like an empty suit. Voilà, c'est ça qu'ils comprennent les mecs. <laughs> I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. Voilà, j'aime bien. <laughs> you bring back a worthless Aris. Tu te fais entendre, tu fais des coups, ça va. We have what we need to finish this. Thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing scheme. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? Turn it, turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. freeze is coming. What have you done? Bonjour, Freeze. You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice. I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately. I'll send you to a frozen hell. Alors attends. Voilà. Et voilà. Normalement c'est bon là. Ah là, c'est là. Et voilà. Tu vois, je fais ma match head. Ok. Voilà. Putain, il faut tous les changer là. Voilà, désactivé. Vous avez dit, c'était pas compliqué. Well, at least we know that it works. Bonjour, Freeze. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. <laughs> that was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Ouais, on va faire crac crac boum boum les baloches. Ok, <laughs> crac crac boum boum les baloches. Listen, Bruce, I just want to clear the air a little. You showed me you were loyal back at your office. Did everything I asked, despite all the trouble I gave you. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit, and, well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees, I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, 
You let your god down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. We all wear masks, Harley. You don't have to be a criminal for that. Even you? Right. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet. And believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though? You got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... Unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know? It's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. Mm. Right, I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show him you got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. Uh... Listen, I know about your father. About how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? Look. I lost my parents, too. I know the story. Everyone in this goddamn town knows the story. It don't make you president of the Dead Parents Club. If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. You're gonna shoot me? That's what guns are for, aren't they? Put that away before I... What was that? I can't hear you. Ah ouais, carrément. 